Good evening and welcome to our next episode of Cooking with Michael and Candace. And Candace, tonight we are live while we're being taped. So thank you all for tuning in. We're so excited to be here. Thank you all for watching last week. Um, let's just get started for another great. This one is a great family dish. Yeah, it, it's it's quick, it's easy, it's yummy, yummy. So before we get started, as always. If you're in the Germantown, Maryland area, and you're looking for the best selection of beer, wine, girly Our drinks, sir. Um, and whatever the hell else he's got there, he's got all kinds of stuff, lottery tickets, stop in and see Andrew at the Chapel Beer and Wine at the Fox Chapel, at the Fox Chapel so Shopping Center. Apparently she's not the only one that can't, that fucks it up. At the Fox Chapel <laughs> Shopping Center. It's not just me anymore. Do you feel validated? I do. Okay, good. <laughs> um, and tell Andrew, Mr. Mike, or... Miss Candace. ...sent you, and he'll take good care of you. So thank you, Andrew, as always sponsoring us. has been there since day one, so thank you. Tonight, we are making American goulash. What the hell is that? It sounds like something you put over your shoes to go out in the snow. Yes! Is it like goulashes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but it's actually a really cool, nice family dinner. I used to have this when I was a kid in high school before the football games. Now, I didn't play football and I certainly wasn't a band because I didn't have talent for any of that. But, uh, we In made... Pennsylvania, everybody goes and it sits and watches. Yes. So I would go there and I would, I would eat this before it was quick and easy to make. So we're going to show you how to make American goulash. Real simple. For pasta. Um, you can use different kinds of pasta. We used a, uh, what the hell we use? Rigatoni. Um, you can use penne, you can use any spaghetti, you can use angel hair or whatever. We like something that's a little bit heartier so we use the rigatoni. You want to use some onion, chopped up. Some real onion. Because real the onion. texture is important here too. That's true. And it actually does give a little bit of taste to it that's a little bit different than the onion powder. Oh so. yeah, onion powder is definitely a right. different flavor. Some celery, which is uh, chopped up as well. A pound of ground beef. And you want to try and get it as lean as possible because you want to try and uh, eliminate as much of the draining as possible. But as lean as you possibly can. You want to use uh, tomato sauce. Of course. We used our own pasta sauce that is available for sale on cookingwithmichael.us. Um, you got it right! Shut the hell up. <laughs> You'll see it in the bloopers. Um, and of course you want to use a 16 ounce can of tomatoes, uh, chopped tomatoes. There is some variations the recipe. You can use um, canned spaghetti. and eh. The texture. And you can use stewed tomatoes, um, which we didn't use because I'm not a big fan of stewed tomatoes and I just never have been. So there are some variations of this recipe, but typically pasta, onion, celery, meat, sauce, and diced, diced, tomatoes. diced tomatoes. And we'll show you how to make it all. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to take out your meat. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take out your meat. I will be honest, I didn't go to my butcher today because um, I had to work and Dana said, fuck it, went to the uh, grocery store, which is just fine. So we got a pound of ground beef. We're just going to go ahead and put this right in our skillet, and we're going to brown it. And while we're browning it, you want to go ahead and dump the celery and the onions at the same time. And you're going to cook them all together. Thank you, Vanna. You do that so you get uh, not only do you get the brown, but they cook and they get soft and they uh, kind of melt with the flavor of the meat all at the same time. Keep stirring because it will stick. Okay, uh, so just keep stirring until it's all nice and brown, and then we'll show you the next step. So we're just going to keep stirring this, brown it. This should take, um, take about five minutes. So we'll be back when this is done, show you the next step. All right, it's pretty much brown and done. There's not a lot of grease, though, so it was, it was pretty lean meat, so there's not a lot of grease in there. The onions and the celery are nice and uh, soft. I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you can see what it looks like there. you got the ground beef and the celery and the onions. Now what we're going to do, real simple, real easy. We're going to take the tomatoes. And dump and dump them in. We're going to go ahead and open up our uh, sauce. Again, our sauce. You can buy it on our website. Cookingmichael.us. Put that in there. And then stir that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the pasta. We're not going to use it all because we uh, probably did a little overkill on the pasta there when we made it. Yeah. Well, I just dumped the whole box in because then we can use the leftovers to feed the kids. Fuck the kids. Faster. So I don't have to listen to, I'm hungry, I don't want to eat that, I don't want to eat that, for as long. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take it and we're going to scoop in. I'll keep stirring while she's doing that. Just keep stirring, just keep stirring. What do I do? I stir, stir. stir. And you don't want it real soupy, you don't want, you know, it's, it's, it's really, uh, and I'm a big fan of sauce, but you, on the goulash you want uh, more pasta than anything else. We're going to stir until it's nice and warm. 
all cooked all the way through. Heated all the way through, not cooked all the way through. Yeah, all the way through. so That's it's all hot again. You can serve this with um, garlic bread or regular bread or you know something else if you want, or you can just eat it the way it is. So American goulash, not to be confused with gulag, which is actually a Russian prison. All right, we're gonna go ahead and taste it. Uh, go ahead. American goulash at its finest. Something I grew up with with my family, and uh, many of you may have also, but if you haven't, try it, make it for your family. Make it for date night too. It's a great date night uh, dinner too as well. Because pretty much any kind of food can be date night dinner, so. Yeah. Uh, but the kids will love it, your family will love it, you'll love it. If they don't, fuck them, you'll still love it. Anyway, so, um, as always, a very quick meal. It took us about um, about six, seven minutes to uh, to brown the meat and get the, uh, the celery and onions nice and and cooked. Yeah, that's really the hardest part. A uh, few minutes for the pot, however long it takes you to cook the pasta, pour the sauce, pour the tomatoes in there. You could even use leftover pasta. So, that would save you a lot of time too. Whole, the whole meal takes about 10 minutes to make, 10 to 15 minutes tops. Um, and you got yourself a great, great dish to, uh, to uh, chow down on and probably have some leftovers too. So uh, try it, make it, tell us what you think, love it. And, uh, and as always, Thank you for watching. Please make sure if you haven't, click that subscribe button uh, down below. And of course, share it with everyone uh, you know, everyone you like, everyone you work with, your family, friends, the football bo bo uh, PTA boosters. People you hate. People you hate, which could be that football PTA booster. We don't mm -hmm. know. Um, your neighbors, uh, friends, whatever. So just check it out. Uh, share it. Love it. And uh, we'll see you next Saturday, as always. Every Saturday night, 8 p.m. I'm cooking with Michael. And Candace. And Candace. Good night, everyone. Good night. Our uh, tomato sauce that you can get at cookingwithmichael.com. That's not our website. Try this again. We used ours. Our. Try this again. Don't you like I'll shut up now. Okay. Can I bet writing? No. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right.